Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. Now it's time. Cactus. 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 I'll make you think, stupid. Cactus. 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 Get off the phone. Cactus. 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 This cocksucker. Cactus. 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 You gotta be crap on my balls. Cactus. 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 I think this call is a hoax. Cactus. 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 Roy, the retarded boy. Cactus. 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 How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus. 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 You blowing smoke up my ass. Cactus. 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 Get out this fucking bone. Leave me alone. You're listening to the Snowplow Show for June 1st, 2016. Today's show is sponsored by Honey Baby. Thank you, Honey Baby, for being a supporter of the show at patreon.com slash phone losers. If you have a problem with anything in today's show, please don't complain to me about it. Complain to Honey Baby. It's completely Honey Baby's fault, not mine. I only have one announcement before we get started on today's live show, and that is that you should go to podcastawards.com and vote for the Snowplow Show in the comedy section. Don't worry, they don't charge money for you to vote like I suspected originally. You just go over there and you vote and you give them your email address and that's it. And you'll probably get spam for the next 20 years, but whatever. At least you're voting for the Snowplow Show. Monsters do have their place. In the zoo. In your nightmares. In your favorite horror movies. But not in your living room. On your TV. Don't let pay TV be the monster in your living room. Pay TV and cable TV companies are seeking the right to charge you for the very programs you now get free. If you want to stop pay TV and save free television, sign the petition in the lobby of this theater. Let your lawmakers know how you feel in the fight against pay TV and cable TV. Live show, everyone. We're doing a live show. And Facebook mobs, everyone always wants to do a Facebook mob. So, uh... There were some people in the Facebook in in the Facebook PLA group, and they were telling me they were, they were saying we should do a Photoshop mob on a Facebook group instead of just comments. But I don't know if this is the right place to do that because I don't know this this one isn't too active. It only has 500 people. Uh, some people have emailed me new Facebook mobs to do. I just haven't put them in my list yet, so I need to do that soon. Anyway, um, we're gonna do one called the Grub Burger Bar. And there's a bunch of text to go with it. Here, I'm going to post a... I'll post a link in the chat. Let's see. um, All right, so a guy... I don't even know if I have his name. He says, I have no idea if this is the right email, but fuck it. It's been a crazy day. Anyway, I have a request. No, a demand for a Facebook mobbing. The restaurant is called Grub Burger, and it's located in Louisiana. The reason I want it mobbed is because my civics economics teacher works there, and since he has a sense of humor, he might get a kick out of it. I'm not going to divulge the submitter's name because, you know, I don't want him to get expelled or anything. Um, why did I even mention that? Now you guys are all going to say, hey, one of your students, they, they did this, it's their fault. Please don't do that. But uh, So the deal is you go to the Facebook and uh, whatever posts they have made recently... Uh, you go in there and you make crazy comments on it. Uh, the last post was four days ago. So it's not super active. Uh, but there are a few comments on, on each post, it looks like. so, And there, there are 31 likes. 13 likes. Yeah, so they get, they get some activity here. Uh, and, and if you want to leave uh, reviews for them, crazy reviews, not mean reviews, just crazy reviews... We're not out to destroy this place. We're just out to annoy, I mean, to uh, amuse some guy's teacher. So please, uh, you know, five stars. Don't don't leave him one star. That's Don't do that. Come on. Come on, guys. Crimson, I, I did get your karate list. I need to look it over and figure out things, okay? I'll get there. Everything's going to happen eventually. Uh, let's see. Um, where's Google Docs? There it is. Microsoft was telling me that there's a virus or something in this this um, Excel file submission. It's like, don't open this. It's dangerous, or it could be dangerous. And I don't know what you can do with an Excel file. You know, 
No idea. Okay, give me one second. I, I just gotta... Just a little bit of silence. I, I just have to read something. Read a website, because I don't know what this is that's been submitted to me. I probably should have figured this out. If this submission sucks, I, it's just I'm gonna end the show. I don't have anything else ready. I just gotta figure out what this is. Yeah, I just read it and I still don't know. Okay, today's submission. Let's just get on with it. Today's submission is from a guy named Gerbil. That may or may not be his real name. That's just what his email says. His name is Gerbil. Um, He found a 2016 directory of a dog park. It looks like a dog park in a very nice uh, little area. Um, And I I just went to the website and I don't understand what what this is exactly. It looks kind of like a homeowners association, but it's not. Maybe it's just a website for a public park, but it doesn't have a government address like they always do. Yeah, what, what the hell is this? They have marinas, they have a calendar. Oh, here, let's look at their calendar. Uh, there's a sunset cruise on Wednesday. Today, 6.30 p.m., a sunset cruise. Uh, Friday, all about oysters, a sunset party. Next week, a star party, a sunset party. An explore Wausau Island movie night. I don't know. Maybe it's just some sort of retirement community. I don't know. All I know is they all have dogs. And I've been sent this um, Excel file, which has the first and last name of the dog owner. It's titled the 2016 Dog Park Directory. Uh, It has their address, their phone number, and their dog's name. And their dogs, a lot of them, most, yeah, they all have the dog's breed, except the very first one. So we know what kind of dog it is. We know what breed it is. I know nothing about breeds, so this isn't going to do me any good. I mean, there's a Great Dane in here. I know what that is. A Great Dane named Duke. Wow, okay. I know what a Labradoodle is. There's a Shih Tzu. <laughs> we can tell her that, it, that her dog, that's an obscene name. Uh, but but wants me to make sure they put aluminum foil on them. I don't know where that came from. So I, I, was, sim- I was sent this thing from several people. Uh, Palindrome was one of them. Uh, Carlito was another, but you know, fuck them because I saw this on my own before they sent it to me. Uh, it's an article on Ars Technica. Um, apartment complex demands tenants give Facebook like within five days. So they put notes on all of their tenants' doors and they said, um, you know, give us a Facebook like or else. That's insane. That's just completely insane. So. Uh, the news picked it up. It's been on, you know, major network news stations. And um, it's resulted in this apartment complex getting uh, more than 800 one-star reviews from the internet. So way to go, internet. You get a clap for that. Anyway, um, so Palindrome said, hey, you could use this, that idea for homeowners associations. You could say, hey, why haven't you, um, you know, given our homeowners association a like? And I think that's a great idea. So thank you, Palindrome, for that. I think I'm going to start doing that with everything. Starting with today, with this dog park, I'm going to um, demand that they like us on Facebook. Because this thing I'm calling as, it's some sort of a... I don't know what it is. I should probably figure that out at some point. Anyway, let's let's just hurry up. I've been just rambling. Let's Let's make calls. Uh, First, we're going to call Coco. I mean, we're going to call Jackie, who has a dog named Coco. Tyler wants me to call the people stupid heads. (laughs) That'll happen, I promise. Hi, this is Jackie. Sorry I'm not available for your home. All right, Jackie's not home. Let me make sure I'm calling from the correct number. Uh, I am. Look at that. Would you look at that? Just look at it. Okay, uh, next. Next is Tim. Tim has a dog named Bree, and that means he's a homosexual, okay? There, there's no wife listed here, so... I'm sorry to be like that, but that's, that's just the way it is. Tim Andrews. Hi, Tim. Yes. Hey, this is Douglas from... I'm, I'm calling about your, uh, your dog that you've had in the dog park. Mm-hmm. Bree. Uh, we we uh, we did some DNA testing on this dog poop here, and it looks like uh, it belongs to Bree. 
So, uh, you know, you I am, need, and when did you do this? Uh, we just did it this morning. Uh, oh, well, I mean, it happened a few days ago, but you know, it takes a little bit could, for it to come have, back. I from, have, I've been in the hospital. I've been in the hospital since last week, Monday. Oh, okay. So Bree's just been shitting in the house or something. He hasn't been out in the dog park. No. Nope. I find that hard to believe. And that's disgusting if you're letting Bree shit in the house. That's disgusting. What the hell is wrong with you? I She has not been there. Who the hell is this? Well, I, I no, I'm just saying it's disgusting. Who are you? The, who are you? The, I'm on the dog park committee. I'm going to call Stuart and find out who the hell you are and have your ass kicked for doing this. Oh, 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 is that how the committee works? Do you understand they go, me? They go, they go around kicking people's ass? No, they will. Ass? But who are you? you? You can't kick my ass. That, that's illegal. That's who are illegal you? It's illegal to go around kick, kicking people's asses. Who are you, you dipshit? I, you I, call me threatening me. I tell you, I've been in a hospital for a week and a half. Okay, I'd like, I'd, I'd like you to, to explain to me what threat I just made to you. What threat was made? You did. What, I don't threat? understand even your call. Why are you calling me? Oh, so that's that's the threat. Bree you... hasn't been at the park. Ben, Bree hasn't been at the park in a week and a half. I pick up after religiously every time hey, I'm hey, there. Hey, 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 hey! Shut the fuck up. So no, I don't know who no, you are, and no, if you're going to you got a complaint. Let me know. Send a send a written complaint to the committee that I am picking up. I'm let, I know I'm, I pick up. I'm letting so you know hang, about hang the complaint. Up on you. I don't know who you are. It says Landing Association. If God you're part of the association, fuck. I'm going to call. I'm going to call Paul and find out who the hell you are. I'm going to call Paul first and tell him you're you're a you're a dipshit. But listen, what threat did I make? Tell me the threat I made. What's your name? Tell me the What's threat. What's your name again? What threat was made? I want to know the threat. When did I make a threat? Why why is he lying to me? Like why? <laughs> Like I understand lying when you call the police about about being upset that that someone was not nice to you. Of course, you're going to lie to the police and say that I made a threat, so they'll listen to you and you won't feel stupid for bothering the police. But he can't just tell me I made a threat because I was there. I know I didn't make a threat. He can't lie to me. It doesn't make sense. God. Did I threaten? Did I just forget? Okay, so this <laughs> this next lady has um, two dogs, Barkley and Fred. One's a Chihuahua, and one's a oh a Chihuahua slash Terrier, and one is a L H A S A slash ter- Terrier. The hell is that? It's like all capitalized, like an, like it's an acronym. L A H-S-A. Large Hadron Asshole. I don't know. I can't figure it out, you guys. Oh, so one thing I don't have, obviously, is I don't have any ideas other than to tell them that they haven't liked us yet on Facebook. Actually, I think I'm going to do that right now. Um, <laughs> uh, Jan, Janel wants me to tell them there's a video of them stealing a dog. Okay. I'll, oh, God damn it. I'll add that to my list. Hello? Hello, Barb, um, Christine? Speaking. Hey, Christine, it's Paul from the dog park. Yes. And uh, I just needed to know why uh, you haven't liked us on Facebook yet. Oh. You're on Facebook? Well, yeah, we're on Facebook. It's 2016. Everyone's on Facebook. Not us old folks. I'm on Facebook, and I check it only to catch up with the family. Okay. So, well, well, how do I like you on Facebook? Oh, you need you, you just just figure it out, lady. Just figure it out, because uh, <laughs> if if you don't like us on Facebook, we're gonna kick you out of the dog park permanently. Uh, I doubt that, but I'll figure out a way. I may have to call my grandkids. <laughs> no, we'll put we'll put a, a tracking bracelet on on Barkley and Fred, and they won't be allowed anywhere near the dog park. We'll have an, uh, a, a, an alarm will go off if you don't like us on Facebook. <laughs> I will figure out how to do it. <laughs> okay, you better. Like I said, worst case, worst case, I'll, uh, um, now, it, on your Facebook, on, um, you have like news. Do we have life? Like when the things like, if I, if I find how to get to your Facebook, do you post on Facebook things like, how long that parking lots can be, you know, locked off. Oh, no, that's too much effort, man. Come on. We got oh. better things to do. Just like us on Facebook. Okay. So which, which of the doggies is yours? I don't have a dog because I don't, I'm a, I'm a cat person. You know, you know, oh. what, you know what my motto is? My motto is fuck dogs. I like cats. Okay. <laughs> 
I like cats too, but my daughter-in-law is definitely allergic. So I and they see. live in the landings. Well, you know what? If my daughter-in-law was, was allergic, I would get divorced, find a new daughter-in-law. Well, my I, I, I also was the one who rescued Missy from the dog park. I have to go get her her tags. And, uh, Ma'am, I don't need the, your life story. <laughs> all the little biddies at the at the dog park were saying that her owner should have divorced the husband and kept the dog. So, okay, let me figure out how to get to the Facebook, and I'll catch you guys later. All right, hurry the fuck up. Have a nice Bye. day. All right, that was boring. <laughs> oh shit! I like that idea, Canny Boy. <laughs> Tell them they need, to, they need to clean up the uh, urine of the dogs, not just the poop, the urine. <laughs> just be like, you figure it out, how to do it. You're the dog owner, look it up. Hello. Hello, uh, George? Yes. Uh, this is this is Paul from the, the dog park. Yes. And um, I just needed to... the. the Police are um, requiring me by law to let you know that I'm a convicted dog predator, and uh, I'm just required by law to call and let you know, um, you know, since I work at the dog park. A dog predator? Yep. Yep. It's embarrassing. I'm so sorry to have to tell you this, but state law apparently requires it now. I have to let you know that I'm a dog predator. What? Is this a joke? No, not at all. I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed. But I'm a dog predator. Uh, who are you? My name is Paul. I work here at the dog park. At the dog park? I didn't know they had employees. Well, yeah. I mean, who do you, who who the fuck do you think cleans it up? When people, you know, people don't clean up their dog poop and you know just uh, organize activities and trim the trees sometimes. Okay. All right. Stuff like that. Okay. Sometimes I just patrol, and, and you've never seen me out there? No. Are you wearing a uh, landings uh, uniform? Uh, n- no, you know what? They gave me one. It's like this vest that's reflective, and I'm not going to wear it because it looks gay. Okay. I'm not All right. gay. Well, thank you. Okay. Thank you for your call. All right. Well, just, just so you know. Okay. Convicted dog predator, not a homosexual. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Also, I need to let you know that was an idea from uh oh, hold on, it's in paste. Totally not a scammer told me to say that. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Bothwell? Yes. This is Paul from the the dog park. Yes. And um I just needed to let you know uh we've we've observed you guys a few times not cleaning up the dog pee when Savannah goes out there. Like you have to dog cl- pee? Yeah, you have to clean up the dog pee as well as the dog poop. Oh, really? How do you clean up the dog pee? Uh, well, I don't know. You're the dog owner. You figure it out. I'm just letting you know that you need to do it. Or there's. I've gonna- never seen anybody there cleaning up dog pee. Oh, okay. Well, you know, if everyone else well, is, if, if, no, if, if, if no, everyone else is breaking the law, do you, does that mean you get to break the law too? Of course not. No, no, no. I've just never heard of this. I'm not trying to be difficult. I honestly have never heard of this before. Well, I'm a, I don't okay. know. I'm a cat owner. Uh, maybe I'll... we're supposed to bring like a spray bottle of water or something to dilute it. Yeah, or, or maybe the hose. Or the or hose. The, the sponge. I don't no, know. The hose, it's not going to stretch, you know, way over on the other side. Yeah, of but the you, park. Can, you can connect a bunch of them together. Oh. Just bring a bunch okay. with you, you know? Okay. Well, we'll make sure everybody there knows when we go next. And my my husband was there today. He usually takes her. I don't take her oh, quite as yeah, often. Yeah. But I will certainly let him know. Okay. And um, I've never noticed that particular rule before. I know the poop and, and everybody and yeah, most people are really good about picking up the poops. Yeah. Um, yeah. But always, always no, someone I honestly that's got a... have never heard about the pee. So that's that's very interesting, and I will certainly pass along the word the next time we go. Okay. And. Um, also, we've noticed that you guys haven't liked us on Facebook yet. You know, the, the landing page or the dog park page. Oh. And um, uh, okay. That's kind of a uh, requirement. We don't do Facebook. Well, you need to get on Facebook and like us because otherwise, you're just not welcome in the park anymore. Oh my goodness! How, may I ask who you are? My name is Paul. I work here for the. What's, what's uh, your last name? Who? Paul. Who? Who? 
Who? Who is your last name? And you work for the Landings Association. Uh, I do, yes. But okay. you need to figure out Facebook oh. and give us a like on Facebook. Otherwise, uh, you know, we're just going to have to ask you to go somewhere else. Really? Oh, my. Okay, well, this is all very new. I didn't see a rule that we had to like the dog park on Facebook either. Well, really, Maybe that's I just... just have I'm, I'm going to go into the website now and go find all these rules. Okay, I yeah. obviously have not been reading them correctly. Yeah, yeah. The Facebook one, uh, besides that being a rule that is on the Facebook, that, I mean, that's on the website, that's just common sense. If you're a Facebook person, which we're not. Well, but you need to get with, get with the saying. times. Be a Facebook person. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, this is a very interesting conversation. Um, I, you know, I may have my husband give you a call back for clarification because he usually goes. Okay. But so if he just calls the number you call me on, that would be fine. Okay. Yep, that works. Okay. All right. Well, uh, thank you for this eye-opening conversation. You're welcome. All right. Have, have a, a nice day. day. No, you have a nice day. Well, I'm sure I will. Good. Okay. Good. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. I, I didn't want to get too weird with her because she believed everything I said. So I don't want to. I don't want to make her not believe me. I want her to tell her husband, "Honey, we have to clean up the dog pee from now on." That's weird, isn't it? Uh, next, we've got Leslie. She has a dog named Jack. Jack is a mal. Um, mal. Ma- <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, hi, Leslie. Oh. Uh- Leslie? No, no. She's coming. Oh, well, that's gross. Oh, thank you. I mean. Hello. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Yep. Uh, this is Paul from the, the dog park. Yeah. And I just needed to let you know that you, you, you won the contest. The, the dog. Which contest was that? Uh, the dog contest. Um, you won the dog owner lookalike contest because uh, you look very much like Jack. Really? Yeah, yeah. So Who you won. That? You won the contest. You get the award <laughs> and the prize. Oh my goodness! What in the world is the prize? Uh, it's a trophy. Really? Yep. 2016 Landing Dog Park Dog Lookalike Contest Trophy. Okay. Well, that's great. Yep. Congratulations. That's- Oh, thank you so much. What an honor. Yeah, yeah. We're going to give you like a ribbon to wear across your body and a, a crown and a trophy. And um, we would appreciate wow. it if you could bring all that stuff with you when you go walk your dog so people know. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll make sure I do that. Yeah, yeah. Thank so you very much for calling. You're welcome. I'm glad you totally believe me. <laughs> I loved how I could hear the husband in the background just kind of chuckling. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> also, she gets a free coupon, or I mean, a coupon for a free pussy wax. That's a chat room suggestion. I, I'm just too bad that didn't happen. All right, Crystal and Gary. They have a dog. They have a dog that's Canadian, I, I think, because its name is Sori. S O R I. Tell them we don't allow Canadians. It's a Labradoodle. Hey. Hey. Hello. What's up? I can't hardly hear you. Oh, I wasn't saying much. Is this Crystal? Yes. Hey, Crystal. This is Paul from the dog park. Uh, Paul. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. What you doing? <laughs> Cleaning house. Oh, that's <laughs> Sounds nice. Sounds fun, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I wish I could help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, so um, we just uh, we have a little bit of a problem here. Um, yeah, what's that? Well, uh, we've noticed. Um, we, we, did you know? Did you know we have cameras in the dog park now? Uh, I heard that. Yes. Yep. I haven't been though, to be honest with you, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I know. It's just uh, a couple of weeks ago um, when you were out there with Sori, we noticed that you were uh, taking the the dog the the poo bags out of the trash can and smelling them. No. Yep. <laughs> I bring my own bags. They're on her leash. Right. Yeah. We we get that. But you were um you were actually digging in the trash can and pulling out random dogs, random bags of dog poop and and smelling them. And we thought that was weird. What what's up with that? Uh, that wasn't me. I don't know who you're seeing on the camera. Oh no, we recognized. We recognized you. 
Uh, you did. What was I wearing? Because we, well, I don't have the the video right what here. What was the date? We we have we have uh, facial recognition for all the dogs and all the people, and it it identifies you. you. It's not me. I'm telling you. Why would I smell dog poo? Well, that's what I'm calling to ask. Why why would you why would you do that? That's weird. I'm starting to think you're weird. Oh, okay. Yeah, says the lady who smells dog poop. I don't. <laughs> but I want a date. Can I have a date? I'm taken, ma'am. I'm married, okay? So I'm sorry, no. What is wrong with you? I want a date that it occurred. Oh! I didn't. I, I misunderstood. I'm sorry. Uh, now I really do think you're weird. Why? Because you you, you don't know how to state things clearly? The, a date me? of the video. Okay, well, I don't have it here with me. I'm just saying I've seen the video. Uh, okay, it's, it's Paul, o- what's your last it's, name? It's over at the office. I want I want it. You want the tape? I want your last name. Oh, it's uh it's it's what? It's what? Uh W I've got your phone number. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm calling from from the office that I'm not in cuz I don't have the tape. It's in the other office. The tape is in the other office. I don't know what you're talking about. This isn't even a big deal. I can tell you exactly the last time we were there. Why can't you give me a date of the video? It was like two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. And you're not in trouble. You don't have to get all defensive. No, no. No. We just think it's weird. It was not. You don't understand. What's that music you're listening to? It was not me. Okay. Well, if if you say so. And I have, you know, what was I wearing? That's all I'm asking. Um, look, you're well, not, did I have sunglasses on or uh, not? I'm not in the security room right now with all the cameras and, and monitors and stuff. Well, why would you call me? And I think something's going on. You, I want your last name and what office are you calling from? I, well, I'm from the landing office. I'm, I'm in the main, the big office here at the front, and the security office is way in the back. And I'm not getting out of this chair. At the association? <laughs> right, yeah. Paul, what's your last name? That's all I'm asking. W-U-T. W-U-T. Yeah, that's why I told you earlier. It's what? I thought you were being sarcastic because you have been so far. No, I'm not a sarcastic person, ma'am. I'm a Christian. I asked for the date and you said I'm already taken? Really? Well, because that sounded weird to me. I didn't... I, I, know, you, I know that you're married <laughs> it to Gary. It sounded weird or the way you took it. You know, we're both, we're both married people. We don't need to be, you know, hooking up like that. That's, that's not right. I'm a, Christ- I'm a Christian, and I'm happily married. What's in my mind? Okay, well, don't be asking me out then. Jeez. But anyway, look, you're not you're not in trouble, okay? And it's not a bit... You don't even have to have to do anything. There, there's not, technically not even a rule against smelling dog poop. I just thought it was peculiar. Can you just... I'm, you're you're going to weird people out when you go to the dog park. I'm not smelling poop and i don't know what you are getting this from and why you are calling me and then to say these things about a date and all that's crazy okay for one thing i didn't say anything about the date you're the one that asked i me said out. i wanted the date of the video and then you said oh. Oh, i'm sorry i'm already taken that just seems weird i know i know okay look just you're not in trouble i can let you go and everything just, 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 i know i'm not in can, trouble i'm can, starting to think you might be in trouble for can, this phone call can you just not do it again just don't do it again that's I all we did have. not take trash bags out of the thing to smell dog poop i think you're crazy and if this is a prank i've got the number that called me oh shit oh you're a christian and you say that word too huh i don't think there's anything in the bible about saying the shit word well, I think it's awfully rude. Right, but it's not in the Bible. It has nothing to do with being a Christian. If I said Jesus fucking Christ, that would be kind of not very Christian-like. But all I said was, oh, shit. Um, if you said fucking Christ, that would be bad? Ma'am, you don't what? need to... Cur- you don't- I can't believe you're talking to me this way. Well, you're, you're talking... You just said it to me. You no, stop cursing I'm at me. I'm calling my husband right now. For what? And let him get to the bottom of this whole phone call. Okay, well, just, you know, don't don't tell him that I asked you out on a date, because I didn't. You asked me. No, I'm telling him you're weird. Okay. Really, seriously, you have a problem. You're going to be, honey, <laughs> this man's weird. What do I do? It's not funny uh, to me a bit. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I just, I, I, this, is, uh, this is something I've never had to deal with before. I don't know what to do. This when, is what you have to deal with? What's your job? Well, I, I work here at the dog park. I work, work here at the... 
And I mostly do the dog park stuff. I watch the security cameras. You're in security? Yeah, I review the footage of people Are like you. Are you a volunteer or do you get paid? Well, that's none of your business. Well, I think it is. Not really. No, I don't, I don't have to tell you how much money I make. You, I didn't ask you how much money you made. I asked if you were a volunteer or if it was a job. Well, it's a job to me. Oh, okay. Well, um, Mr. What? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Well, good. I hope you do. <laughs> Just like you got to the bottom of that trash can. Oh, and I didn't get to ask her if her, if, if, if her dog was, was Canadian or not. Should I call back and find out if the dog's Canadian? <laughs> call her back and say her husband's a wimp? Okay. I can do that one. The, the quotes that lady, I mean, the things she said, she's like, I did not smell dog poop. She kept saying just amazing quotes that I'm going to be able to uh, isolate and put on the end of the show. So that lady was awesome for giving me some funny quotes. That's going to be like one of the intro things. Cactus, cactus, cactus. I did not smell dog poop. So thank you for that, Crystal. Hello. Hello, Dorothy. Yes. Hey, Dorothy. It's Paul from the dog park. Yes, Paul. And I'm just calling about your dog, Chauncey. Yes. And um, were you aware that Chauncey got another dog pregnant? Chauncey's been, he's 16 years old. I know. And he, he's been neutered. <laughs> well, I, it must have not worked because he got this other dog pregnant. And that dog owner, uh, her name's uh, Crystal, she's saying she wants child support. <laughs> That's a joke, right? No, no, I'm for real, for realsies. My dog is, 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 hasn't been out on its own, doesn't go out on its own. It, it must have been <laughs> when you had, be- had your head turned or something, but it got another dog pregnant. I don't think so. <laughs> and you know, you know, you know how sixteen-year-olds are. They always procreate. Yeah, I guess so. But um, tsh- <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're not buying this, are you? It's Gloria's fault. She always has the dumbest ideas. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. That is really funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah me, me and Gloria, we're just uh, you know, we're here at the office, just making jokes, calling people up. Bothering them. <laughs> That's too funny. No, Chauncey, Chauncey lost that ability probably fif- what, 15 years ago. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, okay. What? 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 That's oh, yeah. Too funny. I think that's funny. <laughs> okay. Well, we were hoping you'd get really upset and yell at us, but I guess you, you, oh, you yeah. know it's because we've, we've been calling people in the dog park all morning and we've just been saying horrible things to them and they get mad and yell at us. No way. It's so funny, yeah. <laughs> I, I told the last lady, I told this lady, Crystal, that we caught her um, looking, like, digging in a garbage can and pulling out bags of dog poop and smelling them. Oh, my God! <laughs> what is wrong with you people? <laughs> it's just really you slow here today. Holiday. We got to find something you to do. <laughs> I know. It's just, it's, it's just really slow here today. There's nothing to do. I guess so. The humidity got the best on you. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Well, I'm gonna call Blake next, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him that his dog's a sex a sex predator. <laughs> Good. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, have a nice day. Bye, dear. Bye. <laughs> well, I think I made her day. All dogs must wear diapers from now on. New park rules. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I uh, wish I could, uh, you know, give you credit for that, but you have a dumb name. Hello. Hello, Mary? Yes. Hey, Mary, this is Paul from the dog park. Hey. Hey there. Your phone sounds like garbage. Do you have one of those old phones? No. Oh, what kind of phone no. do you have? I want to make sure. I have an uh, LG Verizon. Oh. Not even out of warranty yet. Oh, wow. Well, you should take it back and get it fixed. Okay. Well, you're the first person that's complained. Okay. Well, uh, probably other people are too nice, but you know, I I just don't give a fuck. You know, I'm just like I'll, I'll okay. just I tell it like it is. I'm very I'm a very blunt okay. person. 
Okay. Anyway, uh, I just need to let you know you won the uh, the dog the the dog park contest. I did. <laughs> okay. Yep, you did. Uh, what you, did I win? Well, uh, it's it's a contest for the person who looks most like their dog. And ah, I, there we go. <laughs> you look just like Cobalt. <laughs> it must be the white hair. Yeah. No. No. It's your face. We we go by face. <laughs> oh. Okay. Basically, you look like a dog. Is what I'm saying. Okay. Well, thank you very much. So, um, congratulations! You win the prize. You get well, a. Coo- thank you. We're gonna send you a coupon for a uh, Petco or PetSmart, whatever okay. you prefer. Okay. PetSmart's fine. Yep. Um, six thousand dollars. <laughs> we'll we'll put that we'll we'll put that in the mail today. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. No problem. Have a nice day. All right. Bye bye. Bye. I didn't even want to talk to her because I couldn't hear her. She sounded awful. Oh, hold on, let me call her right back. I should call her from Verizon's number. Hello. Hi, is um, what's her face there, Mary? Mary, hold on one second. Hello. Oh, I think it's just your voice that sucks because your husband sounded just fine. Okay, there you go. All right. Well, have a nice day. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> How does that happen? <laughs> does her voice just run on a certain frequency that microphones don't pick up? Next, we've got uh, Marianne. Marianne has a dog named Ranger, who is mixed. What does that mean? You just don't know what it is? Can't you just guess or something? Hello? Hi, um, Marianne? Yes. Hi, this is Paul from the dog park. Yes. And we've had some reports that there have been some uh, some dogs hanging around the dog park uh, after hours, like late at night. Um, um, well, I don't know. I'm never there late at night, so I don't know. Yeah, well, we think your dog's been uh, getting out and just hanging out at the dog park late at night, because um, they say it's probably your dog that's been there. Oh, no. No, it isn't. My yeah. dog... My dog is here with me at night. Yeah, well, that's what you think, but I think the dog is sneaking out after you fall asleep. Uh, We've had several reports, and we have a camera, and it looks just like Ranger. Um, He's just like hanging... Oh, I... Yeah, him and these other dogs, they're hanging out by the picnic table, and they're like smoking cigarettes and being kind of loud and stuff. Oh. (laughs) You're pulling my leg. No, I'm serious. We've, We've found empty beer cans and... This needs to stop. You need to lock your doors at night or something and, and keep Ranger from ex- escaping. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. yep. Who, who is this? My name is Paul. I'm from the dog park. You're from Paul from the dog park. Yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. Well, Ranger doesn't smoke and Ranger doesn't drink. So yeah. I don't know it's well, not you my know, dog. You know, a lot of dog owners think that about their dogs. They're just like, oh, my dog doesn't do things like that, but... They're always the last to know. Uh huh. Well, how'd you get my number? Um, it's here in the computer. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Well. Um. Uh, the last night uh, they, there were there was uh, some some dogs. They were like doing burnouts in the parking lot. Uh huh. And you know we, somebody's got to clean all that up and uh-huh. and and that's waking people up and I don't know just. You know, well, control okay, your Paul, dog. Paul what, is, Paul, <laughs> Paul, what is your last name? My last name is Wilson. Wilson? Yep. Okay. Um, we had, we well, had this, thank you. Yeah, we had this uh, guy the other day. He left his car parked there overnight. When he got there in the morning, yep. um, someone had been hotboxing in his car. And they're pretty sure it was the dogs. Mm-hmm. Yep, we can't have that around here. We we got to keep things all respectable, res, respectable and stuff. You know that word? Yeah, I do know that word. Respectable. That's it. Sorry, I'm a little stoned right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I imagine. Okay, well, I'll let you go. Just, uh, you know, keep an eye on Ranger because we can't have this around here. Sure. Okay, bye-bye. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. <laughs> Respect the testicles. 
That's the word I meant to say. Okay, Tyler, I'm gonna do dog fights. I really want to do dog fights. You guys have a lot of ideas. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't keep up with all this. Hello. Hi, Ann. Yes. Hey, Ann. It's Paul from the dog park. Yes. And I'm just calling to let you know that um, this Saturday we we didn't put this on our our calendar, but we're having dog fights in the dog park. We're gonna have like a ring. Dog what fight? Yeah, dog fights. We're going to oh. let them pretty much battle it to the death, almost. But I don't think anyone will actually die. Well, I don't think my dogs will be there. We'll be out of town, and they'll be at doggy camp. Oh, well, doggy camp, really? Uh-huh. Because we, we were really hoping, like, we don't have we don't have a lot of uh, dogs in your weight class. You know, the Shih Tzus? And well, it's too bad, because I'm sure that Katie would kick ass, but yeah, <laughs> Riley would just kiss everyone. Oh no, we we uh we we hop them up on steroids and stuff to make them angry. Yeah, well, and, you know that way they can. I'm sorry, fight. we won't be able to make it. We're going out of town. And um, maybe you could leave your dog with somebody, and they could bring it with them. You no, know? we have um, arrangements already made. They're going to be boarded where they always are. Ah, shit! Fucking shit! You know? Okay. Yeah. Well. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm very Bye. disappointed. Just so you know, I'm very disappointed. Very- I really want someone to get mad at me about the dog fight thing. Nicholas Caesar says dog cannon. That's all he says. I don't know what he means, but I'm going to do that. All right. No answer from Sandra. Uh, We're calling uh, Don and Vince. They have a dog named Murray. 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 Hello. Hi, Don. Yes. Hi, this is Frank from the dog park. And, uh, Hi, Frank. Hey, how are you doing today? Pretty good. That's What's good. Up? Well, I just needed to let you know we're having an, an, an event at the dog park this Saturday. Okay. Um, for, uh, we're going to have several um, things that we're doing, but the main event is going to be the dog fights. We, we've got a ring, and we're actually going to encourage them to, you know, to fight and see who wins. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I'm completely serious. No. Uh, there's going to be rides. Uh, we've got a dog cannon. Where the dog can get into a cannon and we'll shoot him out. <laughs> what kind of a joke is this? No, I'm completely serious, ma'am. Uh, I just need to let you know that this, this starts on Saturday at um, 9 in the morning. So if you're interested, you should come on out and there's going to be food and prizes and everything. There's going to be a, uh, a a contest for which owner looks the most like their dog. And that's why I'm calling well, you, I- you personally. I, I kind of feel like you might have a shot at that one. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Who is this? Uh, my name is Frank. I'm from the the landing. Yeah, this sounds. This is not. This is not kosher. This I cannot believe this. But we'll be there at nine o'clock to see what the hell is going on because this is absolutely bizarre. Okay, but, well, uh, I don't see why you're, you. you're cursing at me. Um, make sure. Okay. <laughs> Hung up on me. <laughs> Uh, Sunshine wants me to tell them that their dog is wanted for war crimes. Oh, I've got a, I've got a good thing that'll lead up to that. I'm, I'm gonna do that one. I wonder if these people have to register, register their dog's DNA. Yes. Oh, hey. Um, I also needed to ask you a question. Are you there? What? Okay. Yes, well, you, you just hung up on me, so you know, I'm, I'm, I was in the middle of talking, and what the hell? Yeah, um, but this is this is this is not this is not right. I do not believe you. I don't know who you are, Frank. What's your last name? Who? So, um, but you know how we have. We, what's we, your last name? Who? Okay, I'll write this down. And uh, and what what department are you working with? Well, maybe that's none of your goddamn business. No, I just needed to let you know about something, though. I, I have a question. She's gone. <laughs> I didn't mean to call her back. I was trying to call the next person, but I forgot to delete her from the list. Uh, Jeff wants me to say that dogs have to start wearing condoms in the park. I think that's a great idea. Next, we have... uh... Hello, William? No. 
Well, geez, don't bite my head off. Holy shit. Was, well, what's your language? Which, which number did you dial? Well, at least I didn't bite your head off. I, I called... Well, go on. So what, what? what's your name and who do you want? Well, I, I work for the here at the dog park. You don't own a dog named Pearl? No. Okay. Well, well geez, bite my head off again. I was just asking. Maybe they put the wrong I'm number. I'm just coming out of the hospital, and that's it, okay? Well, what's that have to do with anything? Does that mean that, that means you're allowed to be an but, asshole listen, to me? I'm not interested in getting conversation with you. We don't own an Octon Pearl, and I don't know how you even got this number. You know, you could have been much more pleasant about telling me you don't want to talk to me. Well, okay. Good day. Bye. All right. Have a nice day. Bye. Enjoy your recovery. Jeez. <laughs> Someone put a wrong number on that one. Apparently they do it a lot because holy shit, that guy was pissed. Uh, uh, Milk Brain says that that guy just had a, a procedure done to take his head out of his ass. Um. Okay, let's call Victoria. Hello. Hi, Victoria. Yes. This is Roy from from at the dog park. And um, I just had a question for you about Maggie. Okay. Um, well, you know how we have you register all the dogs, you know, for their DNA, for the poop and all that? No. What? You Wait, you register the dogs for the DNA? Yeah, I, maybe we didn't tell you. We, we secretly uh, got their DNA to, you know, just for when people um, don't clean up after their dogs. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that way we, we, we know, you know, which one's responsible. Really? Yep. yep. That's we, hilarious. Oh no, it's it's a it's a really good system. So when people uh, when people you know they don't clean them up uh, up after their dogs, we we take care of it. We kick them out. Oh wow. Okay. Yep. So anyway, you're not in trouble for that. It's no big deal. I just wanted to let you know that we secretly collected uh, the DNA of your dog. How did you do and, that? Uh, we we watched where you put the poop, and then we um, we went and and took it. You dumpster dived. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we okay. have we have a whole system. We have, we have everyone's dog's DNAs. But I needed to let you know um something came back with your dog's DNA that's that's not good. Uh-oh, what is it? Are are you sitting down? Yes. Are you sure you're you're actually sitting down? I am sitting down. Okay, oh, thank God. Um your dog, it turns out your dog is is wanted for war crimes. What? Your your dog is is a war criminal. No, I wouldn't joke, ma'am. I, I just I feel awful like telling you about this, but how well how well do you know your dog? Uh, well, I adopted her from a rescue. Ah, oh, it's starting to make sense now. How long ago was that? Two thousand nine. Hmm. How old is the dog? War crime. Wait, wait. I'm I'm not believing this conversation. You're not. Why not? Because it's too bizarre. Well, I I know it's bizarre. This isn't this isn't something I've ever ever had to deal with before. It's just What do you mean war crimes? War crimes. He's a war criminal. He's in cahoots with the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing for? Because this is this is a joke. No, it's not a joke. Um we just we you have You know what? I'm going to head up to the association in a few minutes. Can I ask for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm here all day. It's just uh, you know, keep your Nazi war criminal of a dog away from here if you come. <laughs> yeah, she might lick you to death. That's about it. Yeah, we don't want that. I don't want that Nazi tongue all over me. Ew. Ugh. Ew. This is weird. You know, but bioterrorism is not a joke. That dog worked for Saddam Hussein. <laughs> Have you been drinking? No, I don't drink, ma'am. I'm a Christian. Well, so am I, but... Oh, but you're, you're, you, you still do the things that you're not supposed to do? Okay. <laughs> All right, well, gee, thanks for the warning. I appreciate it. We're pretty sure your dog has Hitler's brain, like they did some sort of a transfer thing. Your name is Roy? Yep. And what's your role at the landings? Uh, well, I, that's none of your goddamn business. All right, I'll take my Nazi dog and we'll see you in a few minutes. 
Okay. Well, you're going to have to keep it outside. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys heard that at the end. It's like, what the? Click. Uh, it's Barb's really wants me to tell people that I want to use their, their, their dog's skin as a coat when their dog dies. But I'm kind of thinking maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Ah, Crimson. <laughs> uh, he, he was a dogfighter in World War II. <laughs> Good one. I like how she believed it at first. <laughs> she gave me information. Hello? Hi. Is this Peter? Oh? Hello? Yes. Oh, hey, Peter? Yeah. It's Roy from the... the at the dog park? Yeah. And I just had a question for you about your dog, about Julie. Uh-huh. Um, were you aware... Uh, you know we do the DNA testing on the dogs now, right? Mm-hmm. Um, we, we, uh, we ran your, your, uh, your dog's DNA through the national database, and there's, uh-huh. t- there's kind of a problem. There is? Yeah, are you sitting down? No, I'm standing up. You should sit down. He did it. Okay. Okay. Um, your dog, it turns out your dog is wanted for war crimes. What? (laughs) Your dog is wanted for war crimes. And I'm sorry to tell you this. I I, I never had to deal with this before. It's just, uh, you know, it came up in the national database. You gotta be kidding. I'm on the line, too. Oh, get, up, get, get off the line, ma'am. This is between me and Peter. Quit being so nosy. Ma'am? You hang up that phone. Listen, what, what the hell do you want? Your dog was observed saying, um, I was just following orders. And and so we ran the DNA across the, the the database, and your dog's wanted for war crimes. Oh, that's that's bullshit. Your dog's name is actually Sergeant Stiegler of the Third Reach. Goodbye. You can hang up too now, man. Wow. <laughs> I think she actually hung up. Those people are good at following orders. I told him to sit down and he did. I told the lady to hang up and she did. I think I'm just going to tell every single person their dog's wanted for war crimes now. Uh, Jeff, (laughs) stop scrolling chat room. I have to have that idea. That is amazing. Uh, Jeff wants me to tell everyone that, 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 that their dog is a registered poodle file. Oh, and, and, and guess what? <laughs> the next, the next uh, dog on the list is, just happens to be a poodle. Uh, a green Hornet wants me to tell the next person that their dog bit your kid's skip-it toy. That's a bizarre suggestion. All right, let me just call the next person <coughs> who, who, uh, who uh, owns a poodle file named uh, Kenny. Oh, two poodle files, Kenny and Fraser. But I think just Kenny is the poodle file. Fraser's cool, okay. Hello. Hi, Sue. Yes. Hey Sue, it's uh it's Roy from the, the from the dog park. Hi. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing good. That's great. Um I just needed to let you know, you know how we uh how we uh have everyone's dog's DNA on file in the computer? Yes. Well, I guess uh, so. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we registered everyone's dog's DNA in the computer, so uh, you know, we can tell when someone doesn't pick up their dog poop. Okay. And uh we ran your dog's DNA through the national database. And right. there there's a problem. My dogs haven't even been to the dog park. Right, but you know, we have our ways. I, I, live, I live in Maryland. Right, yeah, but there's a problem. We ran your dog's 
DNA through the through the database. So it doesn't matter what state you're in. Um, there's still a problem. So I, but I want to say my dogs haven't been over to the dog park in three months. I know, but we we have their we have their DNA from from back then. Okay, but we um, we just decided to what, run, run it. What do you need? What? What do you need me to do? I always pick it up, unless of course. Oh no, no, we're we're not accusing you of not picking it up. Everything's fine with that. There's just we ran your dog's DNA through the database, and something came back. Okay, what came back? Are you sitting down? <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm not, but I can oh, be. Oh, boy, yeah. It turns out your dog, uh, Kenny, is a, is a registered poodle file. Yes. Yep. No, are you, not, are you misunderstanding me? Your dog is a registered poodle file. What does that mean? He's a poodle file. I mean, I mean Frazier is cool. It's just Kenny that's the problem. Yep, Kenny is a registered poodle file. I don't understand what that is. He's a poodle file. You've heard about them on the news. Have you ever watched To Catch a Predator with Chris Hansen? No. Oh, boy. I don't watch television. Your dog is a registered poodle file. Don't you get it? Here, let me try this again. He's a poodle file. This isn't working, is it? She didn't get it, you guys. <laughs> All right, let me go down to the next poodle. Because uh, someone needs to know that their dog is a poodle file. And... Ah, this... Yeah. But this lady, she has a really old person's name. I don't want to tell her that her dog's a poodle file. She, she's too old and fragile to hear that. Here, this, this, this has a male and a female dog owner name so they can comfort each other in, in <laughs> with you know in the news that their dog is a poodle file zap rooter wants me to speak to the dogs i'm gonna do that okay. hi you reach ralphie happy for own we can't come all right i'll just uh I'm, I'm just gonna go straight down the list the next person that has a poodle they're going to get notified that their dog is a poodle file. Shit. Shit. I just lost my place. Oh. Hello, um, ma'am? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Oh, that's great. Okay. Uh, Sandra, I'm, I'm calling from... The this is Roy from the dog park. Yes. And is, uh, is uh, Mika there? Yes. Okay. Could I speak with Mika, please? <laughs> Mika is in her cage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just put the phone up to the cage. It's just it's it'll just take a minute. All right, hold on. Tell me Go when. Ahead. Okay, Mika, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Are you a good boy? <laughs> Are you a good boy, Mika? Who's a good boy? Hello. Hi. Um. Did he respond? She got up. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that's all I needed. Okay. Thank you very much. Who, who is this? It's Roy from from the dog. <clears throat> Sorry, from the dog park. Okay. All right. Well, have a nice day. All right. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Greenhorn, Greenhorn wants me to say your damn dog bit my Skeletor action figure up. Okay. I want to do that one again without laughing. Ah, uh, stupid Mika. It would have been awesome if, if Mika started barking or something. Oh, wait, I just thought of something. Hold on, let me check something here. <laughs> okay. Let's call, uh... D Dr. Punchy wants me to get them on, get them to put the, the speakerphone on. And I'll just play doorbell noises. <laughs> that sounds amazing. The person you have dialed. Alright. No answer on that one. 
can't believe that lady put her dog on the phone. Maybe I should do the whole Facebook thing, you know, since we... I, I told you guys to call a Facebook. I mean, to uh, bother a Facebook. Let's see what's going on on the, uh, the Grub Burger Bar Facebook. I'm going to post a uh, link in, in the chat room if anyone wants to uh, read it or say things. Facebook.com slash Grub LA or Grub Lafayette. It looks like they have not been deleting comments. Uh, their first post uh, from three or four days ago is a picture of the Grub Gladiator. It's a burger that looks like shit. How do you even eat that? And uh, there are comments. The comments say uh, Roy the Retarded Boy from Chris. Uh, Brian says, do you have a vegetarian option? It's 2016, for God's sake. Jasper Flack says, the burger looks like uh, cactus splooge is, is oozing out of it. That, that's exactly what I thought when I saw it. I just didn't want to say it. Um, Billy says, your, your burgers taste like shit, so I shoved it in my ass instead. Your student is a faggot. <laughs> uh, Billy, <laughs> we need to have a talk. You're not supposed to be mean to these people. You're supposed to say weird things. Uh, totally not a scammer says I went and asked for the gladiator expecting a burger But all I got was a guy in a Russell Crowe mask who came to my table and asked me if I was entertained Waste of nine dollars, but it was worth it to see him right away on his tugboat. I gave this place I give this place ten cacti out of ten <coughs> And then uh, Chris uh, he says that burger tasted like vagina juice You gross that's disgusting and then there are reviews. Wait, let's see. Hold on. One second. Are there posts to the page also? Liked? No, I don't see posts on the page, so that's good. I don't have to read those. Reviews. <sighs> let's see. How many are there? A lot. Shit. We're going to be doing this all day, you guys. I can't do this. I can't read all these. There's like a hundred of them. I'll do my best, though. Cassidy... He says, Brad Carter dropped my cheeseburger and he told me to eat it like a good bitch or he would charge me a $50 dumb bitch fee. Josh says, my friend Mildred Monday recommended me this restaurant. When I first came in, I was approached to a hobo named Doug Anderson asking for my money. I said to him, no. Later, when I place an order, I went to the men's room and found tons of weird glory holes. When I was done, I saw a couple of gypsies sleeping over on the sidewalk. The food was great. The people were awesome. Man, I love it. What is with the smiley faces in the chat room? That's freaking me out. That's weird. I don't get it. All right, Ronald says, I went in here after attending the funeral for my coworker Chad, who died after getting hit by a car in a customer's shoes and decided to pick up a cactus burger. I remember that shoe thing. That was great. They were out of beef and had a peacock meat, which is actually pretty good. The Wi-Fi was pretty easy to hack, too, since they were using Windows XP and a Cisco router that they never bothered to change the default password. I managed to steal an entire database of customer information, which I will be sending to RBCP to prank call. The glory hole stalls were a bit dirty with encrusted semen, but whoever was on the other end sure knew how to use their tongue. Five out of five, five, out of five overall. Uh, I was served. John Moore says, I was served by Roy the Retarded Boy. Told me uh, the horsey cat burger was the chef's specialty. And I loved it. Elizabeth says, the special grub burger was exquisite. The grubs were very much alive and wriggling. Very fresh and tasty. And kudos to Roy, the awesome waiter. He seemed like a hobo, but was very friendly and offered some additional services in the bathroom. Services is in quotes, by the way. You guys, I can't read all these. There's a billion of them. Like, seriously, it goes on for a while. Uh, okay, just quickly. David, come in and try the Red Box Burger. Two pieces of raw cactus smothered Roy's glory hole sauce. Best thing to come out of the Chili Pepper Correctional Facility. Uh, Kyle says the, the ball hair burger is excellent. Cactus, cactus, cactus. Simon says the best glory hole in the West. The prickly sensation was cactacular. And then there's a bunch of others. Everyone should go to uh, facebook.com slash grublafayette. 
You'll have to learn how to spell Lafayette if you want to read it. Um, let's take a small break. That's what I want to do. I want to take a small break. Hey, Brad. It's Adam. I just wanted to uh, leave you a voicemail about the whole HIPAA Privacy Act thing for animals. And I just want to let you know I do work in the medical field, and HIPAA only protects human patients. Yeah. And their uh, private information, not animals. Awesome. Just to let you know. All right. Bye. All right, time to call vets and uh, trick them out of tons of private customer information on their pets so we can say, oops, we accidentally gave your pet poison. He's going to die soon. It's going to be hilarious. Be looking for that on the next hey, show. Hey, yo, I'm calling up to start all of this. So the next message you leave better be this. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot to hack the answering machine first before I left the message. Oh, okay, it's a, it was a hacker, I guess. Hey, Brad, uh, I never got around to listening to the Pranksgiving this year, or last uh-huh. year. Uh, is that in your torrent pack, or nope. did you post the link to Pranksgiving 2015? Thanks. Nope, I can't do that, and that's because I don't have it. I actually didn't participate in Pranksgiving this year because I wasn't around. And I missed pretty much the entire Pranksgiving thing, too. I think I just listened to a couple hours of it, maybe, total. And I'd kind of like to hear that, but I have no idea where to hear it, because PCN is disbanded, and I don't think the Pranksgiving stuff is on the site, but maybe it is. If it is out there somewhere, a listener should tell me, because I don't know where it is. Hello, Brad, Chris, and Sarah here. Hey, Chris. I wanted to say and thank Sarah. you for all the fantastic content that you've been putting out. You're uh, welcome. I really appreciate it. Uh, but certainly... I do it all for you. Uh, I'd like to hear a secret show. Uh, you mentioned that on... Oh, yeah. One of your shows here recently. I do. have not done a secret show. And, you know, I hadn't really realized it, but yeah, you're right. I haven't done one. And, um, you know, that... Uh, it, it makes me feel good when there's a secret show. It makes me feel good that other people aren't getting to hear it. I need to do a secret um, show. So, anyway, there's that. I'll get it done uh, one of these years. Dear Lord, I pray that you watch over Brad and, and just help him with making phone calls to people. Help him with social engineering. And Lord, help him spread chaos by using his telephone and leaving his victims with feelings of rage, hopelessness, and despair. Victims? Jesus Christ, name I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Baby Jesus rocks. Yes, I know. I do need to do a secret show. Um, yeah, I'll get to it one of these years. I was looking through the number of shows I've done lately each month, and I'm not happy with the numbers. I really need to just get to making more shows. I really suck because I'm barely averaging two shows per week, and I've got to do something about that. Because if I can do more shows, I can do more secret shows. I don't want to do secret shows when I'm only doing one regular show per week. I want you guys to all enjoy it. But I do want to do more secret shows. I just, I don't know. I'm figuring things out, you guys. I feel like I'm halfway there on the whole Patreon support thing. And you guys have been great about supporting the show. I really need to step things up around here. Really, I should be doing three shows a week at least. But I have been doing longer shows. You gotta, you gotta give me that at least. A lot of my shows, this one for example, have been way over an hour. And I remember the good old days when I used to do 30 minute shows. So maybe I should just be splitting the shows up so I can pretend I have more shows out there. And then I can do more secret shows. Well, I don't believe it. Uh, this is my first time calling. I'm Kareem. Holy and shit. I'm calling from the UK. And I get your answer machine. You could answer your phone for once, couldn't you? It's, it's an answering I've machine. I've all this way. It's costing me a lot of money. What the hell? And you don't even pick up the phone. What's wrong with you? Sorry. People like you are the problem with the world today. I'm disgusted with you, and this is... Right, I won't be able to go to bingo tonight because of you. Because you've taken my money out of my pocket. <sighs> Bastard. Now listen, your show's good, but it could be better. Why don't you ring England more often? Mm. You're being lazy. Ringing old people in the bridge. Club. I don't like in foreigners. In America, Massachusetts. I'm a very racist person, okay? I don't like foreigners. Maybe try ringing England. Ring... We've got a place called Bradford. There's loads of funny stuff. There's a guy there... He bought a car, and he bought it on credit, and then he drove off with the car, and he never paid it back. Now, that's a funny story. Why Isn't not it? phone him? Why not mention the I car? I think that's pretty normal over here. Go and get his number. Come on. I'm waiting. Weirdo. Right, well, from now on, I'll be phoning regularly, and I'm expecting you at some point to answer the phone. And if you don't... I hope your messages get longer and longer every time you call in. Well, you'll get a bunch of fives, pal. 
And if you don't know what that is, you might want to look it up on the internet. Oh. Right? Get a grip. Thank you. Hi, Brad. I'm Madman Potato. Hey. I'm driving through Jihad's hometown right now. Oh. It is 11 or 12 o'clock at night. I don't know what time zone I'm in. Where the fuck is Carlito and when will he be back? I know you're not his keeper, but where the fuck is he? Bye, Brad. Why does everyone ask me where Carlito is? I don't know what he's doing. All I know is he's doing very well. He's just not doing pranks right now. He's taking a break. Let him have his break in peace. He goes on Dwight's show occasionally on the, the old Mixler.com slash Prank Call Nation. So start listening to Dwight's show. Maybe you'll hear Carlito. Hey, Brad. It's Lando. First time caller, long time listener. Um, just thought I'd let you know you said uh, that you had signed up for the podcast awards. For $10. On their website. Yep. I saw that you have to buy your own trophy. I know. If you win. And the large trophy is $400 plus shipping. Wow. So, good luck, but... That, that's what the Patreon money is for, right? I'm going to spend $400 so I can have a trophy in my house for the first time in my life. We won't vote for you because I don't want to see you have to fork out $400 plus dollars oh, yeah, that's nice of for you. your award. Thanks. All right, bye. Thanks for thinking of me. That's really nice of you. Yeah, I don't get the economics of podcastawards.com. He's doing like a an Indiegogo thing on there because they need a bunch of money to redesign their website. And then every nominee had to pay $10 to be a nominee, but they still don't have money for trophies. Not that I need a trophy. I mean, I don't like physical things. But come on, asking the winner to pay for their own trophy? That's just weird, isn't it? Does any other awards thing do that? Make the people buy their own trophies? Maybe that's normal. I don't know. Hey, Brad. Oh, fuck. Only 30 seconds. God damn it. What am I going to say in 30 seconds? Shit, shit, shit. Hobo, hobo, hobo. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm... Brad, I, I love your show, man. You're 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 fucking hilarious, man. Aww. I love how you call people hobos, and I love how you call people motherfuckers, man. Like your shit has been infecting me, man. I've I've been starting to call motherfuckers hobos and motherfuckers in real life, man. Like, good. God damn it, Brad! What are you doing to me, man? What are you doing to me? <laughs> it's good to hear. <laughs> Joke. Okay. Um. See you, Brad. Not too long. Bye. I'm bringing a hobo back. Everyone should use that as an insult. Because it's always good to make fun of homeless people when you're insulting someone. What's wrong with that, right? So there are about 50 voicemails left. I don't know why. I thought I'd been keeping up with the voicemails, but all of a sudden there's a a billion of them in here. It's probably all the same person just saying cactus, cactus, cactus a bunch. But I'm too lazy to go through it right now and figure all this out. So I'm done with the voicemails. I'm so sorry, everyone. I know you guys love the voicemails. Oh yeah, look at this. Here's uh, 15 voicemails in a row, all from some guy in Nebraska, from the same number. And guess what, Nebraska person? I'm not going to listen to one. I'm just going to delete every one of these. You're going to flood my voicemail. I'm not going to listen to them. So I hope you didn't send anything good, because I'm clicking the checkboxes. I'm spending considerably less time deleting these than you did leaving them, you big jerk. Please, everyone, try to limit yourself to, like, one voicemail every day or two, at least. There, now I only have 37 voicemails left. Hey, you guys didn't think the show was over, did you? Because there's about 20 minutes of these dog park calls left. So that's what you're getting ready to hear. But first, you need to remember to support the show by going to phonelosers.org slash cactus and signing up for a small monthly fee, which the main thing that gets you these days is you get to see videos of the live shows because I've been putting them all on YouTube, you know, doing YouTube streaming. So not only do you get to see me on camera going, who's a good boy, but you also get to see the chat room. And I think the chat room is kind of an important part of the show because it shows you all the ideas that people give and all the hilarious things that are said in the chat room. Me personally, I like the chat room better than my stupid show because it makes me laugh constantly while I'm doing a show and completely fucks up my pranks because I can't keep a straight face. Thanks a lot, chat room. You can also have access to the live videos by going to patreon.com slash phone losers. And one of these years, you might find another secret show on the feed. So it's totally worth it to support the Snowplow Show. And one other thing before we get started with the live show again. And I've been thinking about this for a while, and I think it was Chris and Sarah that might have mentioned this in their voicemail. But they referred to a prank victim as a prank victim. I think we need to come up with a new name for prank victim. Because victim sounds horrible. That's what you are when you get raped or something. You're a victim. They're not victims. We're enhancing their lives. We're giving them stories to tell. We're helping them bond with their family over a common enemy, which is me. So how are they victims, right? 
So we need to come up with a new phrase to call prank victims. I've always thought like pranker and prank e. So the people we call would be the prank e. But the problem with prank e is that it sounds stupid. We could call them prank recipients. We could call them enlightened beings who've experienced the surrealness of a weird ass prank call. Something that only a handful of people in the world get to experience. I mean, it's not everyone who gets a call from their local dog park who asks to talk to their dog. Not everyone is blessed with that kind of a story to tell everyone. So I propose we come up with a new phrase for prank victim, a new title. They're not victims. I didn't steal a bunch of money from these people. I just made a silly phone call to them. So in an attempt to make myself sound like less of a horrible person, let's find a new phrase for prank victim. You can leave your suggestions on the voicemail or in the comments of the YouTube or phonelosers.org or wherever. Maybe start up a thread on Reddit or something. I don't know. But we've got to figure this out together, you guys. Okay, let's get back to the live show. There's 20 minutes of it left. Hope you enjoy the rest of this. Okay. Let's finish this up. You guys, I'm, I'm only doing like another, you know, maybe 20 minutes tops. Maybe 30 minutes tops. 30, 40, 50, I don't know. 70, 80 minutes tops. I don't know. But I need to start calling these people as quickly as possible. I want to use all the ideas. But, uh, you know, like, I'm going to do another dog show, obviously. Because, uh, you know, I like your ideas. They're hilarious. You guys have been cracking me up today. I really want to talk to another dog. Hello? Wow, okay, I want to call that one back. That was weird. What What makes that happen, you guys? It just picks up and makes that noise. Oh, now we got static. It's crazy. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Milk Brain says I'm calling a guitar amplifier. I think that's probably it. Uh, this lady, this next lady, she has poodles. Should I do the poodle file thing? That doesn't seem to be working for some reason. Here's someone with three dogs. I think that's a little excessive. What the hell, Judith? Hello? Hi, Judith? Yes. Hey there, this is Roy from the, the dog park at the... Yeah. And I just needed to um, let you know about something. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, your your dog, um, you know, your dog, it, it, I think it was George. Mm-hmm. He ate my son's homework, and my son failed the fifth grade. And <laughs> personally, I think that you should be responsible for paying for summer, <laughs> summer school. Oh great! <laughs> no, seriously. Well, what yeah, I'm glad. Thought? I'm glad you think this is a big joke, but you know, <laughs> I don't think it's too funny. <laughs> what are you talking about? Your your dog George. He ate my son's homework. My son has failed fifth grade. Oh come on! It was a it was it was an important assignment, and now it's just gone. Oh, listen, uh, I'm hanging up. I don't know what this is about, but this is ridiculous. Why are you hanging up? You, you don't want to take responsibility for your dog's actions? Okay, she's gone. <laughs> that was the Jeej's the Jeej's idea. Thanks, the Jeej. Even though it didn't work out and she just hung up on me. I think the next show I do, I'm going to do <laughs> tons of war criminal calls. And I also want to talk to some more dogs. Hello, Debbie. Hello. Hello. Hi, Debbie. Yeah. This is Roy from the the dog park. Yes. Could you have your husband hang up? That's creepy. H- hang up the phone, sir. That's weird. Quit being weird. It's creepy. I'm sorry. What? What? Your your, your husband when he was sitting there listening on the extension. He's so nosy. Oh. <laughs> God. Uh, no. I just needed to ask you a question about your dog Bandit. Yes. Our bin, is it Bendit or Bandit? Bandit. 
Okay. Um, your, your dog, um, he ate my son's homework, and my son failed the fifth grade because of him. What was his name? Your, your, your dog, Bindit? Yes. He, he ate my son's homework. He ate your son's homework? Yeah, and now, and now because of your dog, my son failed the fifth grade. Well, I would say he'd better get busy and repeat what he did. Repeat the fifth grade? No, repeat his homework. No, no, the teacher won't let him because it was due. Um, it was due on Tuesday, and thanks to your dog, it got eaten. Why did he take his homework to the dog park? Well, I is that not allowed? It's a it's a park. He was just hanging out in the park doing his homework. Your dog came along and ah. ate ate his homework. Well, he did it when I or my husband, neither of us, saw him near any. Uh, anybody under the age of 50, okay? Well, maybe you should be watching him a little bit better, and then you'd notice. We do watch him. Well, not very well, because he ate my son's homework, and now my son failed the fifth grade. And I think you should have to pay for summer school or tutors or something. I think you're crazy. Goodbye. I'm not crazy. What are you talking about? I'm crazy, apparently. Hello? Hi, uh, this is Roy from the the dog park. Hi. Hi, is this Maddie? Yes. Hey, Maddie, how are you doing today? I'm good. I just needed to let you know uh, about something with your dog. Yes. Um, we, we just, uh, we're, we're, in, we're, insta- uh, we're starting a new rule here where, uh, when you take yeah. it, when you take your dog to the dog park, uh, the dogs, yeah. they all have to wear diapers from now on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so do, do you, are, do you have dog diapers? Who is this? My name is Roy from the dog park. It's just uh, it's something we have to do because I don't know why, but everyone they bring their dog in there and they just poop everywhere. It's gross. So we're doing this new thing where you have to uh, you have to make sure your dog is wearing a diaper. You're kidding? No, I'm completely serious. All right, then I'd like a refund nope. on my dog park fee because that was not instituted. Oh, nope, nope, no refunds. She hung up. What? She was getting ready to argue with me, and she just hangs up. What the hell? That was an idea submitted by his his chat room name is I could just drflas Joe nine I eight U O N eight nine. That's his name. Thank you for the submission. Oh, final boss. Yeah, I should do that. Hello. Hi, Joyce. Yes. Hi, this is Roy from the the dog park. Yes, here at the landing, and I just, uh, I just, uh, you know, we have, d- d- you know, we have securities over there at the dog park, right? Security cameras. Yes. yes. And I, I don't know how to say this. I'll just be blunt, but I mean, you know, the dogs—they're supposed to sniff each other's asses, but not the owners. That's gross. And that. that okay. F- can, uh, can, my dogs haven't been there in two months. Well, I'm talking about you, though. You need to stop sniffing people's asses. That's not cool. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. We we have you on the security camera. We just need you to stop it. I haven't been there in two months. I know, but two months ago, we were really, no, really behind on... No, I wasn't on... even near anybody. There were only two other people at the park. You were sniffing people's asses and dogs' asses. Oh, uh, we can't... Soda. can't... <laughs> Ma'am. This Friday is annual dress-up like a dog day. Okay, trunk... Oh, by the way, that was Jasper Flax's idea. Sniffing asses. Hello? Hi, Constance? Yes? Hey, Constance, it's Roy from the dog park. Mm Mm-hmm. And uh, we're just calling about um, kind of a problem we're having. Uh, You you know about the security cameras we have at the dog park? No. Oh, yeah, we have security cameras everywhere. And um, they've caught you several times um, sniffing, sniffing asses of people. Like, you know, like Excuse how, me? The, the dogs, they're supposed to, they're, it's okay for your dogs to sniff each other's asses and stuff, but you're not allowed to do that yourself. Uh-huh. 
You, c- you can't do that. That's gross and it's weird. Excuse me? Who are you again? I, uh, my name is Roy from the dog park. And we need you to stop doing that. That's gross. You know? I'm sorry. I don't even hardly even pet anybody else's dogs. Well, I don't know where you're no, getting no. this crazy information no, from. No, not petting the dogs. You were sniffing their butts. I'm not sniffing their butts. No, we, we, you ha- know what? we have it on camera, ma'am. You have it on camera? Yeah, we have the security cameras everywhere in that park. And I'm sniffing dogs' butts. Well, dogs and people. Is this pe- a male or a female that you're looking at? Well, it's dogs and people, and it's... it's, uh, it's no, no, the person that's sniffing the butts. Is this a male or a female that you're looking at? It's, it's a female. It's you. I'm sorry, it's not. Yes, it is, because we have it on tape. All right. We have a VHS right security over. system. No, you can't come over. I can't come over to look at the tapes that you're saying that I'm doing. Well, we're we're a little busy right now. We're we're having a pizza. No, we're you're having, not. We're if, you're, a, if you're if you're saying this, I'm coming over and looking at it right now. We're in the middle of a pizza party, so if you come here, you're not getting pizza. It's just for well, employees. Um, excuse me, can I speak to your boss? It's just for employees, and and no, he's busy. I'd he, like to speak to your boss. He's eating pizza. We're in the middle of a. I'd pizza like par- to speak to your boss. The boss. Okay, hold on, just a minute. He says he doesn't want to talk to someone that sniffs sniffs well, butts. I'd like to speak speak to the association director. Then nobody wants to talk to someone that sniffs butts, ma'am. That's just, excuse you know, me. They they got me to do this because I was the only one that would do it. Excuse me. I'd like to speak to the director. Um. Well, the director is busy eating pizza. Then he can get up from eating pizza and talk to me. Well, just ma'am, you're not in trouble. Just stop sniffing butts. I'm sorry. You are making it an absolutely gross accusation on where did the complaint come from? You're saying it's on the tape. Yeah, it's okay. A, it's on who the, identified the, the tape? Well, we all did. We we all know who everyone is. You know, it's not a big park. You all know? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I think this is a gross accusation, and I would like to speak to the director right now. Okay, ma'am, Constance, I was just kidding with you. We don't really have you on tape sniffing butts. We're just. Go- I don't care. This is a gross, a I, gross tele- telephone I, conversation. I know, but we were just kidding. You're not really sniffing butts. It's. It was just a joke. It's not a joke. We're, we're having a pizza party and we're making prank calls while we while we eat pizza here at the. You're making prank calls while you eat pizza. Yeah, here at the office, it's just something we do every once in a while to blow off steam. You know, we have to deal Excuse with. Excuse me. It's just something we do every once in a while to blow off steam here at the dog park. We're just we're having our our pizza party. We do this once a month, and we make prank calls. Well, so, I think you need to reconsider. Well, we were just kidding around, though. It's just a joke, don't you get it? It's kind of funny, really. Once you think about it. No, if I, mean, I thought about it, I'd go back to third grade, and I'm not in third grade. Oh, come on! Everyone needs to to have a little fun every once in a while. Act like a third grader. We're just having some fun, eating some pizza. You know, JG West says she sounds like the type of person who says this is completely unacceptable and i agree it's exactly what she sounds like okay so um quickly i need to uh i need to what am i doing oh i need to call the final boss and then the show's over so i'm gonna set my caller id to oh no you know what i'm not gonna set my caller id i'm just gonna call from whatever i'll call from new york here goes. Final boss, everyone. Thank you for calling the association. How can I help you? Hi there. Um, I'm a, a, a member here. of, of I, I use your dog park, and I just got a call from someone there at the office. Um, t- yes, yeah, so, uh, we are sending out uh, communications, emails. Someone is spoofing calling several residents something about the dog park correct oh, well who in there is doing that yeah because they they said there's I w- no one here they, no ma'am is- listen they they said i was going around sniffing dogs butts while i was in the park and that's a gross accusation and i, I wasn't doing that right it's just I, we're not sure our director of security is looking into it well how many people are in there is someone from the office because i have caller id Hold one moment. Okay. Soon. Please hold the line and we'll be right back with you. She can't you. handle this. She's got to get someone else. Probably a man. 
Yep. This song is probably going to set off YouTube's uh, content ID thing. They're going to shut off my stream. Thank you for holding. This is Erica. How can I help you? Hey, Erica. I just I received a call from someone there that said I was uh, doing inappropriate things in the dog park. What's and your last name? That's Gordon. Gordon. Oh. Would you be, um, what's your first name? Steve. I've got a couple Gordons. Oh, Steve. Steve? Yeah. Um, you have two golden retrievers? That's me. Okay. Um, was it a male caller? Yes, it was. Do you, do you know who, who that was? He identified himself. Um, um I, I, unfortunately, we do not know who it is. It, somebody has managed to spoof the caller ID to look like they're calling from the association. Oh, that's not possible. Are, that's like witchcraft. They are identifying themselves as either somebody affiliated with the dog park or as an employee. Um, the names that he's used so far has been Paul, Roy, and Frank. Um, oh, hmm. That's but, not, so I'm not the only one that was called? Because they said I was going around after. sniffing butts at the dog park, and that's that's a gross accusation. Yes, that is a, definitely a gross accusation, and that's the first time that I have heard that one. Um, oh, what else have they said? I've heard... Um, so far, we have had um, ran the dog's poop for DNA, and the dog is wanted for war crimes. Um, he told one person that the dog was a registered pedophile. Um, we were going to be having uh, dog fights at the dog park. And, oh, what day is that? Um, so, you know, we have... What, what day is the dog fight? we had all sorts of calls. Um, he didn't say... Oh, okay. But it was coming up, and in addition to the dog fights, um, we would be shooting dogs out of cannons and having a most look-alike contest. So we have had um, all sorts of <laughs> manner of calls and I see. I see. Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty funny. I mean, maybe, maybe <laughs> the guy must be a comedian or something. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. You, um, you of should course. just... You just let the calls happen, you know. Fuck it. <laughs> this is. Um, I was. I was mad before, but now I'm kind of amused. Now that you know, it's just not you, and that they've all been told um, very random things. Yeah, I felt so singled out. I thought. I thought <laughs> someone was mad at me. Nope, nobody is mad at you. Um, okay. Well. I I can't speak professionally on this, but I'm taking a guess and a stab in the dark that it's probably um, a school person and i know that they sound like a man but i also know that there are some older teenagers you know Uh, juniors and seniors who sound very manly yep um and that they They probably uh, got hair in their pits already (laughs) probably and um i think that now that school's out they're pretty bored and looking for ways to screw with people (laughs) that must be it yep okay all right well I'm glad it wasn't just me, because I've... No, nope, not, not just you. I only sniff the butts of cats, not dogs. Oh, well, that is definitely good to know, because that is far less inappropriate. Yep, that's true. And Because um, cats if, clean themselves. Yes, cats do clean themselves. Dogs are... are dogs are fucking disgusting. Dogs eat cat poop. So. Oh, I know. Ugh. Um... But if they happen to call back, if you would please give us a call and we will, we're kind of keeping a log of phone calls so that we can get the information out to other residents. Okay. Okay. I I will do that. Okay. And and by the way, I'm the one that's making the calls. Have a nice day. Oh, good. You too. Bye. Bye. All right, you guys. <laughs> uh, it was so funny when she was reading off all the things. <laughs> I can't believe uh, the, the people, the, the poodophile people. I, I didn't think they even understood. <laughs> so that's great that they understood it and, and reported it and everything. Yep, best final boss ever. That was, that was pretty great. Uh, Facebook. I don't know. I don't really want to look at Facebook anymore, you guys. Uh, if anyone wants to uh, read the the Facebook mobbing stuff, uh, they didn't re- they they didn't start deleting posts or anything, as far as I know. Uh, it's facebook.com/grublafayette, 
or uh, the Grub Burger Bar. That's what you should look for, the Grub Burger Bar. Just search for that. Because, come on, who knows how to spell Lafayette? Nobody. Uh, there's no new, uh, there's no new reviews. God, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm done. Thank you, everybody, for listening. I had a lot of fun. Uh, looks like there are, um, how many listeners? 113 listeners right now on the YouTube, on the YouTubes. And, um, 21 on the Shoutcast. They didn't go away this time. They actually listened through the whole show. So, thanks for listening, Shoutcast people, and I guess YouTube people. And uh, thanks for all the ideas, everyone, in the chat room. I think, like, one of them was mine. The rest was you guys. Oh, by the way, uh, someone, at some point, someone told me that it was a... They, they referred to it as an association. Like, um, you know, like, it's it's a homeowner's association. So it's, it's related to that somehow. But anyway, I think I might try and do another show um, of more dogs. Maybe I can do it tomorrow, but I think they're all going to be warned by then. So I don't know. Anyway, yeah, let's let's just play a song and get out of here. Bye, everyone. Thanks for listening. All the ladies. All the ladies. I'm not smelling poop.